Farmers are using technology in lots of ways on their farm, including this time of year, putting up some beautiful pictures on social media with their drones. If you want to get into the drone game, Chad's got an update. Like many technology, drones are always advancing. And on this week's tech segment, we're going to talk about a great entry-level drone. I got it from Flying Ag. It's the DJI Mini 3. Now, you can see its compact size. This thing is small. It's actually smaller and lighter than a Coke can at 250 grams, actually a little less than that. But you can see the performance here is pretty outstanding. This is the third generation of this drone, and the enhancements come to longer battery life, 34 minutes with a standard battery, and a better sensor, a 48 megapixel still sensor, and you can even record up to 4K. And as you can see right here, it looks great. I'm screen recording my iPhone there just to give you that simulation of what it looks like when you'll be running it. Now, I can tell you this, for a starter drone, this thing is great. It does have one major downfall. You can't do any mapping with that, which quite honestly, we've never been able to at these lower price point drones. This full package, I believe, is right around $1,200 with the case and all the goodies, but it's got some fun stuff. Look at this. You can actually rotate the sensor to vertical mode. What does that mean? That means you can take videos or stills like this in that vertical position. And as we're all becoming more attached, if that's even possible, to our smart devices, you see a lot more companies and even on YouTube, a lot more applications for those vertical images and videos like you see here. I love the object sensing capabilities it has. It's essentially looking forward, downward, and even behind you, and it can even avoid objects. Well, as you can see here, it's a great drone for the price point, especially with those big enhancements. One other thing, Max, it can do, you can actually rotate that sensor up 60 degrees, which is a big deal if you're doing any inspections or anything like that. For This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby. Yeah, he's done it once again, it seems. I don't need a drone, but it makes me want one. I'm in that same boat, Max. I want one after seeing that. What would you do with it? I don't know. I'd find something. <laughs> we just love technology.